but um, effectively it was part of Sin's body. Hmm. And we know that fiends are made up of dead people, basically. So Sin's body is effectively an so, uh, undead you got fiends exoskeleton. In can too. Just a few. It's a big deal when one shows up, though. Uh, hey, since one of you believe me about Xanarkin anyway? I've been thinking. Maybe people Sin gets to don't die. Maybe Sin carries them through time, like a thousand years through time. And then one day, maybe they just pop back, see? Amazing. Simply amazing. Hmm? You make up one theory after another. Refusing to face the simple truth. Sin didn't take Chapu anywhere. Sin crushed him and left him on the Jose shore. Your brother won't just pop back. Harsh, but oh, real. And one more thing. No matter how much you want it, no one can take Chapu's place. No one can replace Sir Jack, for that matter. And there's no replacement for Lord Braska, either. It's pointless to think about it, and sad. She's not entirely incorrect. I... I could never be what Chapu was. Well, stuff happens. Best not to worry. Waka, Lulu, and Waka's brother, Chapu. Something had happened between them a long time ago. I was sure of it. Well, whatever it was, it was none of my business, that's for sure. Best not to go there. Hmm. I don't think, like, suppressing, like Lulu's saying, is necessarily the best way of coping with that, but there is nothing you can do about it. So you do have to learn to live with it one way or another. Waka keeps running away from it. Okay, well... We're here. Now what? Do any of you give me things? I only care about people that give me things. None of you matter. All these people running away. And here comes these guys. Alright, thanks for lurking, Dandy. Now here we go. You here to pray for victory too? Us pray? Who needs to pray? The Luca goers always win. Oh yeah? Then why are you here? We've been praying for some competition this year. So what's your goal this time? You gonna do your best again? Ha! It's too bad your best isn't good enough. These why guys are like the Yankees or the Rangers of the this world. Time, we play to win. <laughs> hmm. Ooh, play away. Just remember, <sighs> that voice can play, boys. See you in the finals. We'll beat them. We have to. You know that team? Putting people down. They're as bad as my old man. But Sir Jack was a kind and gentle man. Well, not my Jack. Uh... Even ten years after he left. Just thinking about my old man got me angry. <laughs> but maybe that was just my way of keeping him... <laughs> nah. Titus, almost introspective there. So the Luga Goers are an interesting, like, case study. Uh, they're extremely important at what they do. Uh, they are the best. They know it. But also, like, they have pretty much the weight of most of the world on their shoulders. And they sort of compensate by all, all that bravado. It's not false bravado. They back it up. But they are jerks. Plain and simple. They're jerks. They are meant to be and you are not meant to like them. So don't feel bad about hating them. Okay, you think you're going to win. That's interesting. Uh, anybody? 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 Please. Let... No, we don't care. I think Waka needs to do a little more praying. Yeah, I think he needs to do a lot more than pray. Just, just throwing that out there. Lord O'Holland, guide our feet. But since we're here.
Again, I don't think the praying or not praying at these locations makes any difference with any character at all at any point in the game. A summoner, are you? It's purely aesthetic, whether you want to do it or not. My name is Yuna, from the Isle of Besaid. Donna? So, you're High Summon Nebraska's daughter. That's quite a name to live up to. No title, no from this place or my, that. Just, my, just Donna. My. And all these people are your guardians? <laughs> my, what a rabble. As I recall, Lord Braska had only two guardians. Quality over quantity, my dear. Oh, we know one of them was Jack. Whatever were you thinking? I have need of only one guardian. Right, Bartello? I only have as many guardians as there are people I can trust. I trust them all with my life. To have so many guardians is a joy and an honor. Even more so than being my father's daughter. That is an epic of course, put down. I would never think of questioning your ways either. I mean, just called her out so, without actually Lady calling Donna, her out. I ask of you. Please leave us in peace. You do what you want, Bartella, we're leaving. Bye-bye. <sighs> See, I don't get it. Yuna has a, guardian is a lot of confidence can rely on. on. <sighs> really? I'm wondering if my... Uh... Because this is a wired controller, Someone mind she you. Can trust There's a wire between wife. it and the switch. I wondered, it can only be wired. It's not wired. that way about me? I'm wondering if my wire is going bad. Actually, I'm okay. I'm, my wire must must be going bad. What's she smiling about? I have the worst luck with controllers. It's drifting and the connection's going bad. Seriously. Lord O'Hallan. Okay, you're done. Uh, am I supposed to leave now? Yeah. Oh, well, I guess not. What did I miss here? Up the stairs? Uh, walk up. Where are you at? You're gone. Nice. Oh, okay. I just, I just get to walk right on in. I thought there was another cutscene I had to do. The faith is below. Let's do it. The faith? Dandy, have you played any of this game? Cloister of or know anything about it? Kamari, Waka, ready? Strength, everyone. It bears repeating. This was the first Final Fantasy game that I played, no. and one of the first nah. like JRPGs ever hey, that I played. Is? You're not a guardian yet. Mostly because um, up to this point, we'll be back uh, as soon as we can, okay? I had sort of family games that everybody had to, you know. That me and oh, my sure. sister and soon. my dad. Like tomorrow soon, I bet. Like tomorrow soon, I wanted to play. So it was mostly Mario, what I played early on, and then uh, then I got a PlayStation Two, which was effectively mine. You know, it was just me. And this was one of the first games I got for it. You can't leave. I have to sit and wait on this cutscene. Blah 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 blah. blah. So it remains very, very Where's dear to me. Not? Then why are you here? Hey, I'm not a guardian, so I'm not supposed to go in, right? Hmm, not a guardian, you say? Hey, wait! <laughs> ah, let me go! The entire game, the whole go! story, is about is hey, revolves around idea? death and grief Just and self-sacrifice. Huh? It's... A really heavy story, actually. This is bad. Really bad. Come on, go up! Go up! Yeah, no, not happening. Oh, dungeon time. I mean, no point in waiting. Only guardians allowed. And I'm sure no guardian. Well, I guess it's too late now. I consider this to be like the last great 
uh, turn-based RPG before they all decided to try to go towards a more real-time battle system. Did a Final Fantasy VII demo that came with another game. Excellent. Uh, had a family console as well. Did Mario and such. SimCity and Civ, yes. Uh, we did the original SimCity on Super Nintendo. I don't know whatever happened to that game, uh, but we don't have it anymore, and I wish we did. Alright, well, so Kilika is about the element of fire and setting things on fire. Like doors made out of solid stone. Like Besaid, sort of water based, Kilika is fire based. Alright, here. Plenty of places to drop off my spear. I'm gonna need that in a minute. Uh, is there a glyph that I touch here? No. I need this. Glyph sphere acquired. We have inserted it. Now we remove it. Because that's very intuitive. Uh, okay. Guess that wasn't it. There we go. Now a glyph. Either there was supposed to be a glyph on the wall somewhere. Oh. Nope. Now you simply touch the wall. All right, what do I need here again? I think I need... Start with... I think the... This thing is what I need. Should have left you in here. At least I think you go there. I don't think I need a, uh, a fire here in there. All right, come here and do half the work for me. Here's your cheat code. Warp it all the way up here. Titus, if you would kindly line up with this pedestal, that'd be great. And you push the pedestal. Push the pedestal. Please cancel and push the pedestal. Why are you not pushing the pedestal? You'll push it from that side, but you won't from this side. What? There you go. Finally. It is very finicky. Okay, we're good. Push the pedestal. Push the pedestal. Titus. Titus. Been over this. The pedestal. Thank you. Uh, no, it does need a fire sphere. Okay, what is this glyph sphere for? Hmm. Other than getting in the way. Whatever. Uh, gimme. Uh, you go here. And away it goes. Gone forever. Now I remember what the glyph sphere is for. You, come with me. Here you go. Door has opened. And with that, the second line of fire is gone. We could technically leave right now. Or we could get destruction sphere. That's a glyph sphere on the ground. Yeah, it's kind of like how he can only carry one of them at a time, even though he has two hands. Also, there's a sphere in my way here. He also, like, can't take this one out of the wall to put the other one in it. Thank you. Just gonna set a door on fire, don't mind me. Uh, 
I don't know, some of the uh, gameplay decisions, especially in the temples, were a little questionable. And we blow up a wall because burning them wasn't enough. For that, we get the red armlet. Uh, Kimari will not need another weapon, uh, defense upgrade for a while now. All right, so everybody, the, um, the, the, the puzzle is set up just so you need all of the spheres to get through it, uh, to solve the puzzle and get through. This is the thing by which we use to try to save the world. And, um... I'm just going to steal this orb. Don't mind me. Bye. Nobody else gets to use it. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It was Donna and that big muscle head man. Yuna will be the one to suffer the consequences. Uh, what consequences? <laughs> you mean actions can she have could consequences? Be excommunicated. What is this? The real world? Uh, talk Just to me. Wait. So what's in there anyway? The faith, remember? Oh yeah, that thing, right. The faith are people who gave their lives to battle sin. Yevon took their souls, willingly given from their still living bodies. Creepy. Huh? Now they live forever, trapped in statues. But when a summoner beckons, the souls of the faith emerge once again. Have you tried using soft on them? I hear it cures petrification. An aeon. All that in this room? So, so what's Yuna doing in there? She prays with all her heart for a way to defeat sin. Uh, look, talk. The chamber beyond is a sacred place. Only summoners may enter. What? Even guardians can't go? It's taboo. Oh. Well, we know how Titus feels about rules. There was something I didn't tell anyone else that day. That song we heard there, in the temple, I knew it from my childhood. It was proof that Spira and Xanarkin were connected, somehow. At least to me it was. Maybe that's why suddenly, I felt like I just wanted to go home. I tried to say something to tell them, but the words wouldn't come. You probably can't hear the music in the background. I apologize. I have the music turned down. Uh, well, um, Dandy, since you're the only active person in chat, uh, would you like to have a giant flaming Balrog named after you? Dandy, alrighty. See, that, that upset me earlier because I had to restart my stream and I lost my chat log. I forgot who was chatting so much. I couldn't name the first of these monsters after anybody. The only fair way for me to do it was just to not name it after anybody. Everybody swarming Yuna because she is the celebrity of this world. And Titus, this is very real right here. Titus flashing back to when he was a celebrity before his entire world got annihilated, basically. I thought I had put my feelings for Xanarkin behind me. But they were there. And they grew inside me bigger and bigger. 
till I was just about ready to burst. I mean, here's the main character, the hero of the story, uh, extremely jealous to the point of wanting to scream. Are, are you okay? I... Uh, I don't know. What do you want to do? To scream real loud? <laughs> Just all the frustration he's had since coming here. All right, back in the woods. It doesn't let us fast travel back to town. That's a shame. However, uh, Yuna's in the party. That's, that's fine. Here we go. Here is your giant flaming Balor. Just because we can, just to show it off. Here you go, Dandy. <laughs> and because setting it on fire and then launching a fire vortex at it wasn't enough, just rip up a chunk of ground and throw it at it. Because why not? There you go. <laughs> I love Ifrit. He is so extra. Oop. Almost 11. Later in the game, uh, there are some shops that sell weapons and armor that are worth buying. But as of right now, eh, not really. But yeah, we're good to go. Let's go. Off to Luca at last. The matches start soon as we get there. So rest up on the way, yeah? Boat's about to be a lot more crowded. 